Well, thank you guys for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope. We pray for you all because we believe in the power of prayer because we're praying in the true and the living God of the universe who hear the prayers and we answer them all in his perfect timing because his timing is perfect and his timing will always be perfect. Amen. Amen. And also we share the good news of Jesus Christ right out of the truth and the act of the living word of God which brings the free gift of salvation to you all if you believe by faith alone and if you repent of your sins and if you do all that it offers you the best gift of all which you can ever receive which is eternal life of Jesus Christ forever and his presence when you die friends praise God for the free gift of salvation give him praise we should give him praise every day amen amen well friends today we got a good topic we're going to be talking about how God has not withheld our prayer the, how God has not rejected our prayer or withheld his love from us. Because some of us, if we are honest, we do think God has rejected our prayer or withheld his love from us, but he has not. So we're going to be praising God for that reminder, that hope that we have. We're going to be in Psalms 66, verse 20. So if you have your Bibles, I encourage you to go grab them, grab them, flip along to that passage with us. Or if, or if you have your don't have your Bible, then turn on your Bibles and flip those as well. And if you flip into that passage, I will open up a brief order of prayer, then we will begin. Let's turn our hearts on God today and come before Him. Jesus, we love you. We come before you, God. We confess that we do not love you enough, so would you help us love you more? God, speak to us now by this passage. Soften our hearts, quiet our hearts before you. Amen. You guys ready? Okay. Psalm 66, verse 20 says this. Praise be to God, who has not rejected my prayer or withheld his love from me. Come on, friends, come on. What does this mean? How does it start out? We're only going to read it one time because I want to just break it down and talk to you guys about it. A little bit. Going to depths with it. It says, praise be to God. We're praising God. We're not praising me, we're not praising your parents, we're praising God first and foremost. This is praise be to God, who, was, who has not rejected my prayer. I mean, if you got him rejected by a girl, maybe you asked to go, about, go out on a date, but I uh, said, no, I, I'm already dating someone else, so maybe now's not the time I'm not really interested in dating. That's called rejection. Rejection hurts. Who has not rejected my prayer, or withheld his love from me? How many of you have not have have not felt loved at times. Let's spin it back to this passage. Actually we are gonna read it one more other time. I wasn't planning on doing it, but I wanna read it one more other time to do this passage. Let's go verse by verse. We're not verse by verse, let's read it slowly. Slowly so we can comprehend it and meditate on it, as we always do. It says, Praise be to God who has not rejected my prayer or withheld his love from me. What does this mean? It says we're praising God first and foremost. Who is what? Not rejected my prayer. We think God rejects our prayer. Why? Why do we think that? Because maybe he doesn't answer in, in our time that he, we want him to. Or maybe he doesn't give us what we want. But he's not rejected your prayer. Even if he doesn't answer them in your perfect timing, his timing is perfect. We always say that at the beginning of, of every video that we make, that his timing is perfect. He, he answers prayers in his perfect timing because his timing is perfect and his timing will always be perfect. And that's okay. Every Christian around the world has the same, is battling the same thing that you're battling. Sometimes they're angry. They're like, God, you're not answering my prayer. You've rejected my prayer, but... But he has not rejected your prayer at all. He's just waiting for the perfect timing. Then it goes on to say, Oh, withhold your love from me. Sometimes we think we're not loved. Maybe because we're not in a relationship. But we have the love of the King of Kings who died on the cross. And that is enough. Sometimes we're busy focusing on these other things like, Oh, we're not in a relationship, so we're not, we're not loved. We have love the love of God. That is more than enough. So what's my encouragement for you today? What's my 
challenge for you today. My encouragement, my challenge is that you would remember that God is not rejected to your prayer. He hears every prayer. And he's answered them in his perfect timing. And even if he and even if he does he has already answered your prayer, but you think he has rejected your prayer. Sometimes he might not answer your prayer the way you want it to because he know he's watching out for you in a different way. Sometimes your prayer might lead to a consequence and he wants to protect you from that consequence. So one day everything will be revealed to us in heaven. And we'll talk about that in a different video. Friends, that's my encouragement for you today. Amen. I know this might be a difficult video for some people to hear, but it's a video that we need to praise God for in the end because God deserves our, our praise regardless of our circumstances. He deserves our praise and we should be praising him for everything, who, for who he is and what he has done. Amen. I want to give you the chance to receive Christ today or come back to Christ. This is the most important decision that one can ever make with life or that one has already made with life. So we want to do this right now. We do give this out, invitation out after the, at the end of every video that we make. So we want to do this right now. So if you want to receive Christ today or come back to Christ and make Christ your Lord today, we want to do this right now. So if, please repeat these words from the sounds of your heart, own heart after me. Father God, I confess I'm a sinner. I confess my need for you, Lord. Would you please come into my life, Lord? and not to this life of you, Lord. You're the only hope I have, Father God. So I repent of all my sins, and I turn to you, and I accept you as my Savior. Amen. Well, if you just pray this prayer today for the first time with us, or recommit your life to Christ today, then I'm going to welcome you in the family of God, welcome you back in the family of God. Scripture says when one walks in the family of God, when one walks back in, heaven rejoices, and we rejoice along with you as well. Because we've been praying for this very moment because this is truly one of the most important decisions that one can ever truly make with life or that one has already made with life is by placing the faith in Jesus Christ alone and accepting the free gift of salvation that he offers you and that he offers me. So I want to welcome you in the family of God. I welcome you back. If you just made this decision today for the first time with us or recommitted your life to Christ today, I encourage you to reach out to me or to one of our team members because we might want to be praying for you. We don't want to mock you at all. We don't want to press you. All we just want to do first and foremost be praying for you, then give you next steps and next resources to take. Because we truly believe that anyone who's new to the faith who have just came back to Christ today needs to pray to cover them. Because prayer changes things and they need next steps. Imagine a baby who's born, who's new. Are you just going to let, let the baby do whatever they want to do? No, you're going to protect them. And you're going to say no. You're going to give them the next step. But you're not going to completely protect them. Because they would be, how are they ever going to learn? But you're going to protect them to some degree. How many of you have baby proofed a house before? I know my brother has. You can only baby proof so much. And if you're boring about everything, that's just living in fear. And God does not want us to live in fear. So again, we want to give you next steps because we believe you need next steps. But we can only give you so much next steps, so we also want to cover you in, cover you in prayer as well, first and foremost. Well, can I bless you all today before I send you all on your way? Is that fine? Would you put your hands up to receive the blessing of Jesus? May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. And may you truly never forget that God has not rejected your prayer or withheld his love from you. He hears every prayer and he gives you his love freely. Friends, if you guys were encouraged by this topic and you guys feel like someone else needs to be blessed by this video as well, would you please do me a favor, click on that share button and share this hope with someone, share this good news with someone. If you guys just need prayer for your life or hope, never hesitate to reach out to me, one of our team members. We are here for you. We are for you. We want to hear your story. We don't want to just walk alongside you. Until next time, keep Christ number one and have a very, very blessed day. Much love, y'all. Go in peace. You are loved.